I'm here. <laughs> Traveling post lockdown, I think so, off to Barcelona. It's a 6 a.m. flight, so it's quite an early one. It's been absolutely manic getting here on time. Props to one of my good friends, Fessel. Poor bloke, got up at like 3 o'clock to drop me off, so thank you, buddy. And uh, oh, drop my bags. I will keep everybody posted. I'll keep everyone posted with what happens as well and what travel is like in lockdown. entered so Spanish authorities what they're saying is you have to fill out this form before you uh, before you come or you can fill it out here I recommend just doing it online you get a little QR code you get you know fast track right to the front of the queue scan your code and that's it you're done and, uh, I don't know it's not as bad as you think you know it's not as bad as you th people think but uh, yeah it's not the best still prefer EasyJet I've never witnessed an airport that is as quiet as this place um, there's police and military presence and everyone's just telling you to keep wearing this because in Spain now it's mandatory to wear a face mask but yeah it's so so quiet 
still loads of taxis so it should, should make it quite easy for me to grab a taxi and head to the hotel which is about 20 minutes away so yeah Spain we've arrived in lockdown <laughs> That's the beach. This this thing here. It's not too bad of you. I just kind of have to lean out a little, and it is quite high up. And I am very scared to drop my camera. It's 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 it, it's not insured. I'm not even too sure what to make of this hotel. Like this mold in places Look. there's mold TV's a bit wonky um, yeah but it was the cheapest four-star hotel right next to the beach so I can't really complain too much and this is the bathroom the sound in here is going to sound fantastic. Like there's no echo whatsoever. And I don't know how I'm going to color grade this. It's so green. Look at that. The shower's pretty cool. Yeah, shower's cool. And We have a frosted glass sliding door. Toilet's a bit small, but yeah. There we go. A few moments later. that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. That is the story of not only this morning, but all of yesterday. <laughs>